Yeah, Graham, you've just said off camera there we don't get too many of these. What do you think was the reason for the defeat today at home to Dover? Um, a little bit too untidy in, in the attacking third, really, if I'm being honest, uh, particularly the first half. But I thought we were, you know, the, the most likely team to score. Um, didn't quite look at normal selves, but I thought we had really good situations, which, uh, in fairness, I think over the 90 minutes we had good situations that, that didn't result in, you know, we had odd chances, but the, the, the situations didn't really turn into proper good chances, which they should have done. So, um, just misfiring a bit, really, at the top end of the pitch, really, and then, obviously, you uh, you're probably accepting that maybe it's going to be nil-nil and then you get uh, that, you know, I mean, it was a ferocious shot to be fair and unstoppable. Does it make it more disappointing the nature of the goal, the fact he has managed to find space for himself on the side, as you said, just as the game looked like it was heading towards a goalless draw? Yeah, yeah, but it's, uh, that's football for you, like, but we've just got it, it's, it's almost like a, probably a reality check, really, you know, the, the euphoria of over a week ago, that, you know, you uh, two two great victories really, particularly obviously the Salford one and then uh, then the, what's happened to his last couple of games, just let everybody reflect on it really, I think, especially the players. Um, I can't fault him in terms of, I think, it, you know, like you can do nowadays, you'll see that everybody's covered a certain amount of ground and all this and done this and done that, but probably the, the stats that, that matter most, the shots on target, um, getting behind the teams and in both games, I think we've just uh, thrown crosses in, really, you know, like um, like hopeful rather than meaningful and, you know, with, with the real zest, really. So I accept the fatigue side, I accept you have to accept this, uh, you now the modern day soccer science, but it's the same for, same for everybody, they've come up from Dover today, come on the train and, uh, and, and run the legs off. I mean, I knew they'd make it, they, they form, we seem to be getting some teams that were um, running into good form every time, so you know it's something you have to live with. But they have been in good form. I know uh, people might look and go, oh, "You've lost to Dover," but I think they lost one in the last seven or eight or whatever. But um, we've just got to pick ourselves up. I mean, the biggest pick in the pub just had is just had a look at the league table. So if you can win on Tuesday, you. Smack bang in business, the point behind our end, so level on games, so couldn't be any better really, but it's up to us to make the most of it. Yeah, you said about making the most of it, you certainly tried, you tried to force the issue, making changes up front, were you pleased with how they came off, or was it just one of those days where nothing seemed to stick in that part of the pitch? No, I was pleased with Tollett, I thought um, we didn't get enough of the ball to him, but he, he, he's a brave lad. Um, I, it was my fault the other day at Salford, he's not obviously a striker, but... Um, I do like his bravery, keeps having the ball, keeps running at people. And that, that should really come to something. So no, I was really pleased with him. I think one or two other people obviously had an off day, but I think it still smacks in the face that we have to do something about up front. Um, at the end of the day, there still was a lot of things going past across the six yard box. Um, probably more second half than first half. Thought first half we had better situations to create and get a shot on goal. Second half, there's more stuff going across the goal and not enough people in there. You've mentioned that situation up front. We know Jason Arsenal's going to join the club. What difference do you think he can make at that end of the pitch? As a goal scorer, uh, when I've seen him play, most of his goals have been in where the, the ball was today, second half. So, um, But, you know, he's a good athlete. He holds the ball well, he runs the channels. He's probably... a uh, Almost in the version of Stuart Bevan. Um, I still think in an ideal world we need something else as well. So, you know, but we get uh, young Pike comes back Monday. So it'd be nice to, like you said today, when we're searching on the bench, uh, no disrespect to anybody who's on the bench today, when you're searching for that particular run, that, that elusive goal that we can do. What, for instance, Salford did to us the other day, what Solil were doing last week, bringing strong attacking players on the pitch. So, um, I don't think anybody disagrees that there's watched it all season that we, you know, um, a blind man could tell you that that's what we needed to do. I guess, in particular, that's away from home <laughs> where we are on Tuesday. Um, how difficult is it going to be to manage the squad with another quick turnover before that game? 
Um, well, I hope they feel a bit, you know, um, not too sorry for themselves, but I hope they feel like, you know, that the, the you know, you can tell in the dressing room when a, when a team is genuinely disappointed. And when you see a team like the lads were, the, you know, the skipper and that, um, usually got a positive reaction, you know, a real determined, uh, you know, we've seen what Salford have just been through and now they've come back with two great results. Um, it's that sort of dig deep time, just find a result from somewhere. Um, it's not it's not critical with us like it was getting with them, but, you know, as you can see, it, 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 as where the games have gone, it can quickly happen. So, we have been at our best when we've had better, longer preparation time between games, but once we get this over with, then, then that's what we will have. And you've mentioned strengthening the squad. Is there any more news incoming of you? How are you working behind the scenes at the moment? Yeah, I just want a certain type of striker, really. Um, I've got one in mind. I've spoke to the, the club a lot. Um, but in this day and age, it takes a hell of a long time to get things over the line. It's, it's, it used to be one phone call. Now it's, it's everything, right, you know? So, um, but oh, we'll get there. We'll get there and... If we don't get it for Tuesday, then we will have it, you know, and then um, I'm not being disrespectful to the trophy, but it's not obviously the top of our list. So it, it, we have got time, so, um, you know, we need to use that time, really, both in the dressing room, on the pitch, and uh, recruiting. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Thank you.